What's up? In today's video, I'll be showing the full process of how I created, well not created, how I painted these bad boys that y'all have been showing a lot of love on Instagram. They chipping, but it's all good. We learned a lot with this one. Let's get into it. Okay, so for those not new to the channel, you may recognize these because I painted them this way and wore them at my first solo exhibition back in Chicago. Um, since then, I wasn't really feeling them after that for whatever reason, so they were only worn once and I wanted to just change them up completely ever since. And I had a lot of leftover spray paint. And I thought, maybe this is the time to see how this goes. You know, usually, I've only done a few shoes, and from what I know with leather shoes, it's good to use leather paint. Um, specifically, Angelus leather paint, it's been recommended to me, I've used it before, and it seems to work um, very well. Now, with these, I was like, I just, yeah, I just wanted to spray them. I had this color palette in mind of just painting them this kind of a baby blue with, a, with pink bottoms. I thought it would look sick and then I was gonna figure out if I was gonna do anything else with them. Um, I hadn't, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do something unique with the swoosh or not, but yeah, uh, in the beginning it, I was just trying to spray them up. And funny enough, even in this early stage when I was like taping around the sole and whatnot, when I would peel the tape off, I noticed some, you know, paint chipping off uh, you know, with the tape, and I was like, uh-oh, is that because I taped it up too soon? Is it because, you know, maybe the paint wasn't dry yet? Um, later I learned, regardless of it being dry or not, it's eventually going to chip. That's just how, I guess, spray paint works. It just, it's like spraying dust particles onto, you know, a leather shoe that's going to be creased when you walk in it, and so on and so forth. But I was going for it, so I sprayed the swoosh a darker tone of blue, and I was having a blast. so clean in this moment, so clean and pristine, and it was just a matter of time before they got a little more, you know, uh, I guess disheveled or rugged, <laughs> if you will, but I was really happy with how they looked at this point, and I wanted to add a dark blue, like a midnight blue slash navy blue um, vine around the swoosh, which I always sketched out in my sketchbook. I was feeling good about it, and then I just went to town with the actual leather paints that I should have been using the whole time. And look at that, it was time to lace up these bad boys, get them ready for a sweet photo shoot, and then wear them out somewhere after that, because you already know I gotta, I gotta hit the streets. I gotta, I gotta show them what I'm working with out here. And there you have it. Well, there you have it in their first form. Um, the cleanest they had ever looked at this point. And, you know, they got the little pink paint splatter on the bottom. 
Oh, they look so good. And now you're wondering, how did they go from being so clean to this experimental mess we have here? And I guess I didn't record this part, but I've mentioned it before. I wore them once, you know, the spray paint started to chip in certain areas and I didn't care. I was like, I, these are an experiment piece. I just wanted to have fun, see what the spray paint could do. And overall it like, it stuck better it stuck more in certain places than others like you know along the side here it was kind of fine but like when you get close to the bottom of the shoe you know where you know your toe is gonna crease when you walk like those areas in the front are just gonna chip away if you're using spray paint i'm not sure if using an airbrush machine would have been any different um if you've used one on shoes before let me know in the comments but for the for the most part my learning experience was spray painting is going to lead to chips um from posting you know the progress on instagram or whatever i did have some people reach out and mention that you have to remove the protective coating that comes from you know the the manufacturer from nike or adidas or whatever i heard acetone works so rubbing alcohol you got to just kind of like rub it off with a uh, with a cotton swab or something, which I did not do. Again, I usually I research before I work on a, on a shoe, but in this case, I just wanted to go for it. And that's what I did, so I went for it. It had some chips. I saw the chips as an opportunity to kind of just like paint away these like, like a navy to a lavender, you know, cloud, streaks of cloud, cloudiness, if you will and they look kind of crazy but i'm not mad at them they look different i like wearing different shit so i'm gonna wear them until they chip completely and maybe i'll paint them over again so we'll see but for now this was a big learning experience a lot of you seem to like you know these on on instagram i'll probably do another pair again but i'll do it the proper way but yeah, you don't learn if you don't experiment. So that's what these were. I had a great time doing them. I hope you had a great time watching. And till next time, peace. But before you go, I wanted to mention some other very big news. Uh, if you haven't heard already, your boy just put out his first of many art books. Uh, Muddy Sketches Volume 1 is here. And it is basically a book, well, you know it's a book, it's a collection of original sketches, ink drawings, and color illustrations created by yours truly um, during 2019. And for the new decade, I wanted to start an annual tradition of collecting all of my sketch ideas and concepts, illustrations, or ink drawings and whether they're finished unfinished and i just i want to compile them into a book uh, the book this book specifically gives you exclusive access to my creative ideas sometimes in their rawest form you'll be able to experience the raw and original concepts and studies that later evolve into large-scale paintings and for just $9.99, you can become a collector of my creative work and support me on my creative journey. I know you want this book on your coffee table, so we ain't even going to mention the Kindle edition. Well, we just did. The Kindle edition is for sale as well, the digital version for $3.99, I believe. Um, but get you a physical copy, bro. Buy volume one now, and we'll check back in 2029 to see who has all 10 books. Um, yeah, Muddy Sketches Volume 1, available on Amazon right now. Go get you. Peace.